why do you want the CEO to step down? Well, good morning, Jonathan. Uh, it, it's crystal clear. Uh, when I sent a communication to uh, Mr. Sloan a couple years ago, I wished him well, but I said I was skeptical about somebody who is in a, part of the entrenched leadership of Wells Fargo instituting the cultural change that's required at Wells Fargo. The proverbial uh, wheels are falling off the stagecoach of Wells Fargo, and unfortunately, the results have proven uh, accurate. Uh, Wells Fargo is not improving its practices. Uh, they defend the culture as being appropriate. Uh, that proverbial proverbial dog doesn't hunt. Uh, so I'm calling on new leadership because as you just uh, stated in your introductory comments, they were just uh, issued a $1 billion fine. Uh, the actions taken are unprecedented and it's, it's a recognition by government agencies, by regulators, by shareholders and others that Wells Fargo is uh, headed in the wrong direction. We can talk about the fine and the level of that fine in just a moment, John. I do want to get your thoughts on the channel of influence that you have, John, personally, whereby you can put the pressure on Wells Fargo to make that decision where the C steps aside. What's the channel of influence you're looking to work through? Well, we're, we're operating on multiple fronts. Uh, I am the largest issuer of municipal debt in the country as the treasurer of the state of California. Uh, we process $2 trillion of worth of transactions. We have $75 billion in our short-term investment portfolio. A year and a half ago, I suspended the three most profitable lines of business with Wells Fargo. I'm also a member of the two largest public defined benefit plans in the country, CalPERS and CalSTRS. Uh, so we're going to use our power, our authority, uh, to make sure that Wells Fargo operates in a far more effective, efficient and responsible manner. So let's talk about a path towards sanctions relief. You talked about suspending the three most profitable sides of the business that you do with the likes of Wells Fargo. If Mr. Sloan stepped aside, John, would that lead uh, us towards a path of sanctions relief for California on Wells Fargo as far as you're concerned? Could that be a path towards sanctions relief? Well, I think that's one step towards doing the right thing. However, we, we have to see that there's cultural change. Uh, we, we still see problematic actions. Uh, last year, I sponsored legislation uh, to make sure that people had their day in court. People can't consent uh, to forced arbitration when they're not aware of the fraud that's being committed upon them uh, in, in advance of that action. Uh, that's something that I'm here in Iowa demanding uh, that Wells Fargo uh, go forward and not permit those uh, terrible practice to occur. In fact, people are paying more because of forced arbitration. Uh, we're not getting the relief that we need. Uh, you, Wells Fargo, unfortunately, has preyed upon too many of the most vulnerable in America, whether they're immigrants, whether they're the seniors, whether they're disabled. Uh, that practice has yeah. to stop. I want Wells Fargo to restore, restore its storied history. Hey, John, bear with me because there's some people in the bond market that get excited about round numbers and the 10-year Treasury just crossed through 3% for the first time since 2014 and then comes back to 299.95. I don't know how much that excites you, John, so let's talk about another round number. A billion dollars, that fine. That fine that has come through, compared to the, the relatively low $185 million penalty um, in 2016. What do you make of that? A billion now, $185 million last time around. What do you make of the size difference between the relative fines for what has happened with this bank over the last couple of years? And then when you think about the actions by the Fed capping uh, the growth of Wells Fargo's assets until they improve their behavior, I think you're seeing unprecedented action by multiple parties recognizing that Wells Fargo, as I stated earlier, is on the wrong track. We simply need new leadership. It is crystal clear that what they've done over the last year, year and a half, is not sufficient. Uh, and that, uh, you know, for those of us who care about Wells Fargo, who want to see them do well, uh, because we've had a long a relationship, decades long relationship uh, yeah. with Wells Fargo in the state of California. So we're going to press upon hard to make sure they get back on the So, right John, track. that's where I want to kind of finish up. Um, you referred to the Wells Fargo misconduct as fraud in the past. And I just wonder whether you want individuals prosecuted. Is that, is that what you'd like to see, John? Outside of the numbers and the fines, would you like to see some prosecutions? Yeah, I think the law enforcement uh, agencies need to look at the particular action, right? This is, this is part of the pattern and practice. Uh, and so we need to make sure that there's a thorough review because we've seen uh, abuse, we've seen uh, improper activity, uh, perhaps illegal activity. And so the proper jurisdictions authorities need to be reviewing the activity here.